Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. The 2018 question on Leave Insert Ordinary Level was question six uh, from paper one. It was one where you had to work out the brackets and it was an algebraic equation. Okay, uh, let's have a look at part A first. So it's x plus 5 by 3x minus 4 minus 3 times x squared plus 2 plus 4. Okay, so for the first part, I'm going to split that first bracket and multiply x by everything in the second bracket plus 5 by everything in the second bracket. Then minus 3 times x squared plus 2 is fine, plus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, let's multiply it out. 3x by x is 3x squared. Uh, x by minus 4 is minus 4x. Plus 5 threes are 15x. Plus 5 by minus 4 is minus 20. Minus 3 by x squared is minus 3x squared. Minus by plus is a minus. 3 twos are 6. Plus 4 is equal to 0. So I'm done multiplying by the minus 3 once that bracket closes. So that's why just plus 4 comes down to be plus 4. Okay. Um, okay, I thought it was going to be a quadratic. Uh, the quadratic terms are cancelling. So that's good. That makes it a bit easier. And then let's tidy up our x terms. Okay, so I have 15 minus 4 is 11x. And then my numbers, minus 20 minus 6 is minus 26, plus 4 is minus 22 is equal to 0. Okay, just like with any other algebraic qu question, x is to one side, numbers to the other. So you're either plusing that minus 22 to both sides, or you're bringing it over the equals to sign, and it changes sign. And then divide by the number in front of x, and we get x being equal to 2. Okay, so that was that first part. Now, the second part, there's two ways of doing this. Um, and I'd like to show you both ways. So let me just copy it. Paste it onto this page. And I'll just, um, to give us loads of room, paste it onto this page, okay? So it'll be quite similar, it'll obviously be the same answer, um, but I just want to show you two ways of approaching it. Um, and see which one you prefer. Okay, so find the solutions of five over x plus three minus one over x is equal to a half, okay? Well, generally with algebraic expressions, we need a common denominator. And you're, you'll always get a common denominator when you multiply the bottoms by each other. Okay, not quite sure where my question is going. Okay, you'll always get a common denominator by multiplying the bottoms by each other. So I'm just taking all of the bottoms and I'm multiplying them by each other. And it will give me a common denominator. May not be the lowest one, but it sure is common, okay, in that they all divide into it. And then you take that common denominator and you multiply it by each individual bit of your um, of your fraction. So I'm going to multiply it by 5 times x plus 3. So then I have the minus and I take that common denominator again and I multiply it by 1 over x. And it's equal to, and I take that common denominator again, and it's multiplied by a half. Okay, and what happens then is, is the bottom of each piece will cancel with its common piece on the top. So 2 cancels with 2, the x cancels with the x, and the x plus 3 cancels with the x plus 3. So you're left with x times 2 times 5 minus x plus 3 times 2 times 1 being equal to x plus 3 times x times 1. Okay, when you're multiplying three terms by each other like we have here, 
what you tend to do is multiply two together first and then multiply it by the answer. And it doesn't matter which order you do them in. I'm going to do two by X here to give me two X. And that still has to be multiplied by the five. In this one, I'm going to do two ones. Okay, and I'm going to put square brackets around that because of the minus here. So it's minus all of this. Okay, so I'll come back to him in a minute. And then I'm going to go X plus three. And then I'm going to go X by one is X. Okay, 2X by 5 will give me 10X minus 2 by X is 2X. 2 threes are 6 is equal to X by X is X squared. X by 3 is 3X. Okay, so I have 10X. Now it's, like I was saying, minus all of this. So you have to ripple through that minus. It's minus by 2X, but it's also minus the 6. So it's minus 2x minus 6 equals x squared plus 3x. Okay, so now I can see a quadratic there. It's split on two sides. So I'm going to bring everything to one side. Okay, and I'm going to bring everything over to the right because the x squared term is already um, positive on this side. Okay, and remember when I bring something over that equals to sign, it's going to change side. So I'm going to end up with x squared plus 3x then I'm going to have minus 10x plus 2x plus 6. And whether I go equals 0 on the left or equals 0 on the right, it doesn't matter. OK, uh, mathematically, it's the same thing. OK, so just because we're more used to it, I'm going to put equals to 0 here. So let's tidy up. There's my x squared. I have a plus 3x minus 10x plus 2x. So I'm getting a minus 5x for that, plus 6 equals 0. Now at this stage you have your quadratic. You can use the minus b formula or you could factorise. Okay, so if I factorise plus 6 plus 1, and minus 6 and minus 1 are also factors of plus uh, 6. I have plus 3 plus 2, 3 twos are 6 but I also have minus three, minus two. And I need the factors that gives me minus five, okay? So when I'm factorizing, that x squared splits into this bracket and this bracket so that I get x and x. The six splits, its factors go into here and here. But as you can see, there's loads of options for factors of six. So the right pair is the ones that when I add them together, gives me minus five. So that's these ones down here, down the bottom. So minus 3 minus 2 goes there. And then solve it. x minus 3 is equal to 0. What you do is you let each bracket or each factor equal 0. And then you solve. And it'll always be the opposite sign to what was in the brackets. So x is equal to 3. x is equal to 2 are the solutions that I'm getting for that um algebraic fraction okay you can always check and you can do this on your calculator you don't necessarily have to write it down unless it asks you so when x is equal to 3 i'm getting 3 plus 3 here minus 1 over 3 and you're wondering is that equal to a half okay so on my calculator i'm hitting the fraction button 5 on the top uh, 6 on the bottom minus a third and of course, that's a half equals to a half. So you know that one's right. And it should also work for x is equal to 2. So I have 2 plus 3 minus 1 over 2. So let's put that one into the calculator. Hit my fraction button. 5 over 5 is one whole unit minus a half. And that is equal to a half. OK, so that's how you do it, where you get a common denominator involving everything. There is a, another way of doing it that's, that's often taught in schools, and that's where you just look at the left-hand side first and you let it equal to the half, and then you will end up cross-multiplying. Okay, so what I'm saying there is I get a common denominator of just the left-hand side. Okay. Um, and what it ends up happening when there's two terms is that it's a crisscross. 
So it's 5 times x minus 1 times x plus 3. It's 5 times x minus 1 times x plus 3. And that's equal to the half. So again, let's resolve the x, we're not, or the left-hand side, we're not doing anything to the right-hand side for now. So 5 by x is 5x, minus 1 by x is minus 1x, minus 1 by 3 is minus 3. And on the bottom, I can work it out, I can multiply it out if I want. I get x squared plus 3x, and that's equal to a half. Okay. And tidy up the bot the top. 5x minus 1x is 4x minus 3 over x squared plus 3x, and it's equal to a half. And again, here I'm going to cross multiply. Okay, and when you cross multiply, you're going to get 2 times 4x minus 3. So that's me following this line here, and that's equal to. 1 times x plus 3x, okay? When you cross multiply, you end up with no fractions. Um, everything ends up on the, the one line, okay? And that is why you cross multiply. So let's work out those brackets. 2 by 4x is 8x. 2 by minus 3 is minus 6. And that's equal to x squared plus 3x. Again, I'm going to bring everything over to the right. So I have x squared plus 3x minus 8x plus 6 is equal to 0. Okay, let's tidy up my x terms. I get minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. And you can see it's the same quadratic as I had in this method, x squared minus 5x plus c plus 6. So you know you could do it as the minus b formula or as factorizing. It doesn't matter. Just because I did it as factorizing in the last one, I'm going to do it as the minus b formula here, just to show you all the different ways of doing it. So that's the minus b formula that's on page 20 at the top of your log tables. Okay, a is the number in front of x squared. You'll see it here. b is the number in front of x. c is the number on its own. Okay, so that's where I got my a, my b and my c from. Okay, make sure you don't put down a is 0, a is 1, otherwise we'd have no x squared terms. And now you just fill in these three numbers. And you'll see x's and x squareds don't appear in your minus b formula at all. So minus minus 5 is 5, plus or minus. So I'm on my calculator now and make sure the minus 5 goes in a bracket so that the minus gets squared. Minus 4ac, so I got 1 all over 2. And you split it now into its two values and that's where the two answers comes. You split it by the minus and the plus so that my first one is 5 plus 1 over 2, which is 6 over 2, which is 3. And my second answer from x is going to come 5 minus 1 over 2, which is 4 over 2, which is 2. So, of course, you got the same answers for x and x and x as you would have in either method. So either method gives you the same answer. It's, it's personal preference, whichever one you prefer. If you are interested in technology or engineering, but are not doing higher level maths, why not consider our Level 7 in Electronic and Computer Engineering? This is a three-year programme that looks at the design and development of embedded electronic systems. These are the medical devices that keeps us healthy, the consumer devices that keeps us entertained, or the controlled systems that keeps us safe on the road. You can then progress onto the Level 8 in Electronics and Self-Driving Technologies and from there to the Masters. Check out the link below for more information.